Hi, in this video, we want to talk about how to make a calculator like this in Python using tkinter. So please stay tuned. First of all, we need to import tkinter as tk, which is a package for a graphical user interface. So let's suppose that we want to build something like this. And for example, let's call this text box that we are going to build. Let's call this the field. And also let's call the text, which is in this field, the field text variable which in the beginning, it's an empty string. So we define a variable called field text, which is an empty string. But let's suppose that we press one on this calculator. In that case, the field text is going to be one. And also the field is showing one. And also if we press the plus button, then the field text is going to be updated and the field is showing one plus. And also if we press, let's say two, the field text is one plus two and the field is showing that. And as you can see, whenever we are pressing something, then it's going to add that to the field. So we define a function called add to field, which takes something, and then it's going to concatenate that something to the field text variable. So first of all, we should globalize the field text because you want to manipulate that in the function. So we should convert that something to the string and we should concatenate that to the field text variable. And by this way, we want to update the field text variable. And then we want to update the field. And by saying updating the field, I mean we want to delete the previous content of the field and replace it with the new content, which is this field text variable. But as you can see, we haven't created the field and also we haven't created a window. So let's create a window. In order to do so, we simply use tk.tk and we store the results in a variable, let's say called window. So we have created a window and then we simply type window.geometry and we pass, for example, 300 by 300, which is the size of our window. And then we want to put the field on our window. So we should simply type tk.text. And I want to put that on the window. And the height is going to be 2. And the width is going to be 21. And also we want to use Times New Roman font. And the size is going to be 20, for example. And we store the results in a variable, let's say, called field. And then we want to put our field on a place in our window. So we should simply type field.grid and we want to put that in the first row and also in the first column. And the column span and the column span is going to be four. It means that it is going to span or let's say occupy as much as four columns. And then I simply type window.main loop because we want to show the window all the time until we press the close button. So now we have created the field and let's update the field. And by saying updating the field, first of all, I mean, I want to delete the previous content. So I simply type field.delete and we want to delete all the things from the first character to the last character. In order to say the first character, you should simply type 1.0 in a string. And in order to say the last character, you should simply type end. So now we are deleting the previous content and we want to insert this fill text in our field. So we simply type field.insert and we want to insert that in the first location. And the thing that we want to put in that first location is the fill text. Also remember that when we have something like this and if we press the equal sign, then we want to evaluate or let's say calculate whatever is in the field text and shows the result. So let's define a function, let's say called the calculate. And again, at first we should globalize the field text variable because you want to manipulate it in this function. And now we want to evaluate whatever is in the field text and after evaluating, let's say calculating the results, we want to convert that to a string and we want to put all the stuff in a variable, let's say called results. And after calculating the results, we want to update the field with the value of the results variable. And for updating the field, we should do the same thing that we have done here. So I copy that and I paste it here. And after deleting the current contents of the field, we want to replace it with the results variable. And also we have a clear button that if we press that clear button, we expect two things. The first thing is we should reset the field text 
and also we should delete the contents of the field. So I define a function, let's say called clear, and let's globalize the field text variable, and we should reset the field text, and also we want to delete the field, so let's copy this and also paste it here. And here's the clear function. And let's create these buttons. And because it's very tedious and I don't want to waste your time watching me doing these tedious stuff. So I simply paste the code here and I want to explain the code. So here is button one and we simply type tk.button because you want to create a button and we want to put that on our window and the text is going to be one. And this command means if we press one, then we expect to add this one to the field. So because of that, we use the add to field function. And remember that you shouldn't delete this lambda function. If you delete it and if you run a code, it's not going to work as you expect. So remember to put lambda functions. And also the width is five and the font is Times New Roman 14. And we want to put button one at row four and column one. And we have done the same thing for other buttons. For example, let's explain this button. You can see that the text is zero and we are going to add zero to the field. But other things are really similar. And also we are putting that on row five and column one. And after creating the numbers button, let's explain the operations button. For example, like plus button, the minus button, the multiplication button, the division button, and etc. For example, let's explain this. As you can see, it's a division button. And we are putting that on our window. The text is slash, which is the division operator. And we are going to add a slash to the field. And other things are similar. And we are putting that on row two and column four. But for the clear button, the only difference is if we press the clear button, then it's going to call the clear function. So the command is the clear function. But for the decimal, it's very simple to numbers and operations. And for open parenthesis, close parenthesis, it's very similar to numbers and operations. And for this equal sign, the command is calling the calculate function, which evaluates the field text. So there it is. If I run a code, you can see, for example, I can type 8 plus 2.05 times, open parenthesis, 7 plus 6 divided by 5, and I close the parentheses, and if I press the equal sign, you can see here is the result. And also I can clear the field. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.